Hi there, my name is Mats, and today I'll be demoing uh, a new component that I've been working on for a while. Uh, it's a basic uh, task scheduler or event planner, whatever, uh, that is pretty easy to to theme or, or customize according to your your business needs. Uh, and uh, as of today, I, it supports three views: it's the day view, the week view, and the six week view. But uh, more will probably be added in the future. Uh, and uh, as you can see, it, it re resembles the standard EXT grid a lot, and uh, which I, I think is a very sleek and cool look. So uh, it's pretty nice, uh, and it it can do all sorts of uh, fun things right now. It it can uh, you can resize items, you can drag drop. You can have some uh, milestones uh, configured, we'd, we'll get into that later. Uh, it supports search and uh, f for each view you have defined, you can have a, a different renderer so you, you can ac actually change the way your, your uh, events look based on uh, the time span that you're displaying right now. So, so without any uh, further talk just let's just get into it uh, and see what this this little component can do uh, so first thing you'll notice here is uh, a little tooltip indicating the time uh, which updates when they, when you move this is part of a plugin that's uh, used to create new items so y you will always know if you want to create a new item what's the current time etc so creating a, a new item is, is not very advanced. You just click and you drag. And that's that's it. And uh, since I'm in the mood for coffee, I'm going to make Carl Larson make some coffee. And that's it. And it's persisted in, into the store. And now I can just double click and, and change it if I want to. Uh, I'm pretty tired right now so that's why I'm, I need some coffee. <laughs> uh, so and that's that and you can drag it around. Uh, it can't overlap with other items uh, in, in, in the current implementation because I, I don't think you can do two things at once since I'm a male. <laughs> uh, it supports resize so that's no problem. And you can see the time updating uh, as well dynamically. Uh, what else is there to do? Uh, well, we have the the keyboard navigation, so right now I'm going to press up, which is the zoom out feature, which makes us switch to... Uh, there we go. Uh, slight bug. Um, makes us go to the, the one week view and here you, you can start to get some more uh, a better overview of what's really going on and and here you can see uh, one of the other f uh, fun things that's uh, supported right here is uh, the 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 markers up here in the toolbar which can resemble some milestone in your project or uh, that your office is closed or whatever so and, and this is fully resizable as well uh, so you can just change this and and have it be persisted in, but that's all going to be imp implementation specific. It's not something that I can do for you. But these all work off of a store, so it's it's probably going to uh, be you'll recognize what to do with and how how to process the, the data. And uh, here you can also notice that there's a tooltip uh, function which is pretty easy to set up. Uh, but I'm not going to go into any implementation details right now. But uh, so that's pretty pretty easy to to work with. Uh, and then we can go up to the to the top view, which is the six week view. And here you can see, if you noticed that the, the rounded corners are, are gone now. It's just a one pixel rounded corner. So I can I can set a different render for uh, the different views, which might make sense because the top view might be used more to get a sense of how uh, 
how much of, of, of each person's time is being used rather than seeing specific details of, of each item so but uh, but but still you, you can see the time here in the in the tooltip if you want to create a new item and you can of course uh, double click and open and change and it's persisted right away you can see the new new value um, so that's that and uh, I can show you another fun thing which you can do here Just if I, uh, oops I accidentally hit an arrow so that's why we why we switched view uh, sorry about that let's go back here we are Let's open that item again, and I'll just type uh, make coffee, just one more item, and it's persisted, and then uh, we can search, so I can search for task, and you can see cough, and renders my coffee, and one more, which is make coffee for dev, so search is pretty easy to set up, uh, and hit escape, and you go back. So that's pretty much uh, my first uh, introduction of this component uh, and uh, I'll be back with another screencast uh, showing you how to set this up and uh, uh, get more into details uh, but right now uh, I need to grab a cup of coffee because I'm very very tired after a long night so uh, and that will be all for now ciao